Is it just because I like tattoos and I got them everywhere? Whatever. I love to cause attention to myself. That's why I got all these tattoos on my face and all this shit. And I don't give a fuck what nobody thinks. That's what Antoine Denton is. Believe that. Just motherfuckers just see me trying to be all like G or some shit, like walking by or some shit. They'll think I'm like some crazy ass gangster motherfucker. Like motherfuckers when they see me, they wouldn't even think I was a skater until I fucking will say something to some other dude that'll be on the train or something about skating. I'll be like, hey dog, those shoes right there, oh you got on some Etnies, some Artos, hey, you better save those, you better not fuck them up. Man, they're some collectors, you know? They wouldn't even know that I knew that because you know what I'm saying? But judging by the way that I look, they wouldn't think that I would know that, but they don't know me. Uh, it's fucking crazy, like every time I'm somewhere or fucking anything, it's like, oh, all lies on Antoine, like, what the fuck, fool, let me chill and do what I do, like, and then somebody will do some dumb shit, and then that'll make me piss, and then I'm drunk, and then I'll be like, oh, piss, and then, you know what I'm saying, once I get irate, then nobody can help that. I feel like I locked up in Florida for bullshit. Beating up cops and shit. Put it like that, they tried to give me 15 years for beating up cops. Three cops, five years each cop. And you know, I got fucked, did some crazy shit, so I had to get fucked. Any other time, I'm fucking chilling, you know what I'm saying? Smoking blunts or anything, like, you know, all the homies know that. And my brother, like, beat up some fool at Anderson Park and then brought a board home, and then he's like, yeah, I think I dare you to jump off this car. So I jumped off this car on my board, and that's how I got the scar on my eye right here. I just started skating, and like, you know, my homie Evan, he already know how to skate, so he taught me how to ollie before I even was a skater, you know? He told me how to kick flip, and then the first time when he told me, you know, I did it. Like, the first day I was skating, so I was like, yeah, this might be a good thing, so I just kept on to it. And then I took a video to this dude, a buddy from Transition, and he told me, man, you got like some raw ass talent, you got like a different style than anybody, like, you can do this shit. That food like gave me the motivation to keep on, you know, keeping on. I was just skating for transitions and they would give me boards whenever I wanted and then, you know, the Baker shit just came. Well, actually, I just met Beagle somewhere and then I get in the video and then one thing led to another and then bam. Riding for death was just sick as fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's the best. It's the same thing as riding for whatever, you know, bacon, that same shit, you know? We're all family over there. Everybody's cool as fuck to everybody. I don't know because I run the streets all night and day. I don't know, like, they know what's up, man. They, I don't know, I can't be a dick to them. They're gonna be cool to me, like, fuck. If they're gonna be a dick to me, I'm gonna be a dick back, but they're gonna be cool, we're gonna be homies, you feel me? And I know a lot of people from Paramount, you know, cause I used to skate there a lot when I was young and all of them fucking happy to see that, like, I came up and shit. It's just, it's just a good thing. I think it's cool, man. 
trying to do something that nobody's ever done before, and it actually succeeded, you know? It did it good, you know? I should have sold out. I'm happy about that, you know what I'm saying? Like, just trying something new, and the new things that you try just happen to be a success. So that's just pretty sick. Big ups to that, raise the roof. Ha, ha, ha.